Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to submit an interlibrary loan request to the library on Telecampus. To start, go to the library website, which is library.it-tala.ie. When you get to the library website, the quickest way to the address is to log in. Click on the big red button and log in. This will bring you straight across to use your network login, which for staff is your login for using your PC, and for students is something like this. Okay. Once you're logged in, the screen will have a direct link to the interlibrary loan service. When you get here, you need to agree. When you create a new request to the copyright restrictions that apply to everything that we can supply via interlibrary loan. Read the warning and the declaration. This is a legal document and click yes if you agree. Then and only then will you get the search box. So you need to tell us what type of material it is. So initially I'm going to show you a book. When you select the type of material the form will update. If you have found something on the internet that you need to get via the library if you keep the tab open, you can copy the details into the form, which means that there's less work for you and more opportunity for us to match the right material. If you notice something weird, you can just delete. Oh. Because sometimes that happens when you are copying things from the internet. So it's important to double check. And the ISBN will be listed further down if you found something on Amazon or another bookstore. Oh, I didn't copy it correctly. So right click, copy, right click, paste. You don't need to change the destination library and click Create. The library system will then check to see if we have access to it online or in print. When it hasn't found any matches, you then continue creating your request. If it was available electronically here. You'll be able to click on Source and open the electronic version directly. If there was a library matched here, you could click on the source and select the one you want to request it from. Because there's nothing here, I'm going to continue creating my request. And as you can see, down the bottom here, we have our details. I can view further information about it and the library will update the status as it progresses through your request. And I can just cancel that here if I have found it somewhere else 
or I can submit modifications. So if I need to put in a note, um, and so on. If we go back to the form, to resubmit another request, I need to agree to the copyright statement again. So once you've read it once, it's easy enough to know you can go straight down and click yes. And again, if you've found a, an article on the internet that you want access to, you tell us it's a journal article and what we need from you. So if I go to the details for this one, I can see that I have information here. So I am in the Journal of Web Librarianship. So again, I can copy the details or I can type them in. You don't have to copy them. I can check the year, 2016. The volume and the issue, 10, issue 4. 10 slash 4. And the ISSN, the unique identifier for the journal, because we're filling in the journal details at this stage. If you cannot find the details of the ISSN on the page that you found the details of the article on, as is in this case, if you search for it on the internet, it should come up pretty easily. So it is just a case of finding it. So here we can see we have details of the journal from another source. And let me just pick the latest one and put it in. Put in the details that you have of the article and if at all put in the DOI because this is a unique identifier for that article. No other article has that number and it's the piece after doi.org. You don't need to change the destination library and click create. Again, this is going to go off and it's going to search for online availability or print availability. The online availability searches find it as if you are on the library homepage and starting a search for it there. So I'm talking about if you search in here, you should get the same results as you get here. Again, if you have no availability, you continue creating your request. And again, you can keep an eye on it here. Now we are going to look at what happens if we do have access to what you're looking for. So I know we have this book on the library catalogue. I'm going to create the interlibrary loan request for it. I'll give it a moment. You can see here it's telling you that we actually have it. So I don't need to create my request. I just need to go to the library catalogue and see if it's available or replace a hold for it. In this example, we're going to look at a journal article and what happens when the library has access to it. So I've entered in all the details from my result on Find It. 
because I couldn't get access to it. And I click Create. As you can see, there's plenty of print copies of the journal available, but there's nothing online. So I can continue creating my request and the library will look for the print version of the journal. If you are on Find It and you see text that says log in to request as ILL, ILL is short for Interlibrary Loan, and you click on the link, it should bring you straight across to the filled in form. You agree to the terms and conditions on the copyright declaration, and it has brought everything across from you. Then you just need to click Create, and it will be double checked. So we can see DKIT have it, so do City Campus, so I'm going to create my request. If I'm looking for journal articles, I may also see this prompt. And again, you just click log in to request as I allow. You click yes, and the form will be filled out for you when you get there. And you just need to click create. If you don't have sufficient information in, it will prompt you for the volume and issue, which should be available here. Or if you click on the title, of the journal, you should get it on the More Details page. So here we have the ISSN and so on. If there is no issue or volume, you can always put in the year. If you want the whole journal, you can change it here. And click Create. And create your request. Thank you for watching. Please contact the library, library.tala at tudublin.ie if you have any issues or queries about the Interlibrary Loan Service or using it online. Thank you.